This is my replacement DVD drive that I just purchased off of eBay. Um, it would supposedly uh, work, so we'll find out. I wish I could just go ahead and put this in and just be done with it, just reverse the process, but we're not quite done yet because the systems actually have a special hardware key with the DVD drives that they come with. So we're actually going to have to take the guts out of the uh, old board and put them into the new board. You can see some of the electronics done inside there. That's what we're going to get to. We're going to take the ones out of here and put it into here. So let's get started. On the back, there's two more Phillips head screws, one located here and here. Taking a look inside now, we have a couple ribbons to take off. These ribbon cables with the blue, or at least these smaller ones with the blue tab, you can just grab the blue tab and pull them straight out. They're intended to just plug in and out. Let's get that one and this one. That tab's stuck, so you can actually just grab the whole cable and just back it out. That one's just push in and put, pull out, as is this little one on the side here. This one we're actually going to take off on the other side. It's glued down in the back so we can't take it off there. So I'm just going to take it off here instead. This looks like just the same type where you um, can just pull it out. Just like that. Now that all the plugs, uh, ribbons are loose of the board, we push this one back on the Hitachi models and the board will just come up and out. Be very gentle. We'll set that aside. Take out our new drive that we just Bought. Disassemble it. Okay, now that we're into the new drive, let's basically do the same thing by removing the ribbons. And with our new drive here, we're just going to put the uh, old board in so that the Xbox recognizes it. And it's just a reverse process of the way we took it out. And there we go. All we have to do now is put the metal shroud back on. Replace the screws. All right. Let's get the Xbox. Just going to lower this in here the same way we pulled it out. It's really uh, pretty simple. Just slowly kind of guide it generally into position. Um, take a look at the back. We're going to have to replace our cables. So like I said, you can lift up on the back of this a little bit. We're going to plug in our SATA connector for the data and then this specialized power connector. Once those are in there securely, you can Set it back down, set the DVD drive down in there, make sure that it uh, fits over those plastic fan guards. 
There's also two little holes up front here um, that receive the drive. I don't know if you can see those. Mine are not in yet. Make sure that those get pushed in. Yeah, see, see that there? Make sure that those plastic pieces are sticking out uh, of the bottom. And the top. <clears throat> Flip it over. Let's put all those long screws that we had back in. All right, now that we have those long screws back in, we're gonna look at putting this uh, piece back on to the drive. <clears throat> Basically the button goes, and I've got this upside down just to see it better. The button fits in that little notch. There. The button fits in that little notch and uh, jams down over this peg here. You'll see it. Yeah, fits nicely. Feels good. Now let's put the bottom of the Xbox back on. We're just going to come down straight with this. There's these clips on the back that we need to keep an eye on. They're easier to put back together than they were to take apart. So you're just going to guide everything straight down. Just get the plastic lined up, guide it straight down, and just slowly... If you don't get caught on all the plastic pieces, push it back together. Same thing with the other side. Let's go to the ends now. Putting these things back on is really a cinch. You just have to make sure that they go the right direction. Now, there's that little gap before that we used to pop off the face cover that goes towards the face cover or else it just won't sit back in there properly and that's the wrong side it'll help to get the right side so now the face cover is over here we're going to put that notch towards the face cover just go down the line and pop them back through there same thing for the other side where the hard drive goes. It's really easy to put back in. There's not much uh, effort involved. All right, almost there. All we have to do is put the faceplate back on. There we go. So hopefully this works. I'm going to plug it in and test it out and we'll see if I can read and uh, play games now with this new DVD drive. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Sweet. I love it when things work the first time. So the drive is working good. Um, yeah, I'm really stoked to have made this purchase. And now that it's working, I'm hoping to put in some hours on the Xbox with me and some friends and thank you guys for checking out this video hope you learned something until next time peace